Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your calculator to um, put a matrix in reduced row echelon form, which, uh, if you've ever done it by hand, is a giant pain in the neck. Um, and if you do it on the calculator, it's amazingly fast. So uh, the reason you might want to do that is you might be solving a system of linear equations. So just to kind of motivate it, I'm going to do something. So this is weird because I'm going to I'm going to solve the system. Um, so I, what am I doing? Uh, X, Y, and Z, but I want uh, three equations. Okay, so I want three equations. The variables are X, Y, and Z. So I'm just going to put in a system. So 2X plus 3Y plus Z equals 5. And then, I mean, if I can just do this on the calculator, it doesn't really make sense to then go through and use matrices, except you'll see it's a lot faster to type. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's go with 5X minus 3Y plus Z equals 2. Okay, so I want to solve this for X, Y, and Z. Press Enter. It solves it. I get that. I had to type in all those X's, those Y's, those Z's. That was really annoying. Um, so what I can do instead is I can find, so I'm going to create a matrix. This isn't exactly the order in which I would do it, but um, I don't know. I'm trying not to spoil this. So my matrix is going to need to have, can I move this? I can, sort of. Uh, it needs to have three rows, so that's one for each equation, kind of. And then it needs to have four columns, so one column for each of the variables and one for the constant terms. So I need three rows and I need four columns. Okay, so now I just type in those coefficients. So two, three, one, five, four. I'm pressing tab in between to make this quicker. Negative one, but you can just use the arrows if you want. Negative three, one, and two. Okay, so I entered this matrix. And now what I want to do is put this matrix in reduce row echelon form. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to option 7. And then uh, here is option 5 is reduced row echelon form. And I want to, now I need to tell it to use the matrix. So I can either just uh, go with the answer here. I can press control and then the, the negative sign will get me answer. Or I can arrow up and paste it down. So obviously I went with that choice. So now I'm going to press enter. And you can see, let me delete this, we can get them all on one page. You can see here when I use solve, I got that x was 39 over 25. Here I got in the first row, I have a 1 for x, so x is, and then I have 39 over 25. Um, I got 32 over 25 for y here in the second row, which, uh, second column rather. Uh, I don't know if I said row or column here, I should have said column. Uh, in the second column here, I have a 1 in the Y column, and then that's going to be 32 over 25. And then if I scroll down, I'm definitely going to have a 1 in the Z column, and I'm also going to see negative 49 over 25. So this is a much faster way to actually type things into the calculator. Um, it works on linear systems. Uh, but that's how we can do reduced row echelon forms. Let me do another one for you. So here's how I would have done it by default. So um, let's say I want menu 7. I actually just type R, R, E, F, but if you're not into memorizing things like that, then, you know, do what you do. And then I need a matrix. So let's say I'm solving a two by two system. So uh, it's two equations and two unknowns, but I actually need two rows, three columns, because you always need one more column than the number of equations that you have if you're gonna be able to solve these. So we have this, and I'll make it up. Let's say four, negative three, two, and then, uh, 17, 15, and I don't know, 35. Might as well use big numbers if you're using a calculator. Okay, so this is equivalent to the system 4x minus 3y equals 2, and 17x plus 15y equals 35. So I'm going to press enter, and it's telling me that x value, the x value is 45 over 37, and the y value is 106 over 111. And that's it. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.